Welcome to Kirkulp Global Skin Care Private Limited. Today we have Dr. Shailender Dawan with us, who is an expert in treating diseases like psoriasis, leukedema, etc. So let's welcome Dr. Dawan to know more about leukedema. If we talk about... This is an important question in every patient's life. Every patient suffering from leukedema always thinks that why this disease had affected me. The reason resides somewhere in our treatment. If we come to know about the reasons for this disease then the task of treating them will be easier and we can be sure that the disease will not be recurred. We can broadly divide the cases into two they are internal causes and external causes. In patients who wear tight clothes, there are chances of developing white patches above that areas. Some patients wear plastic or nylon sandals, this can be a reason for developing white patches. The allergy caused by the usage of artificial jewelry can also be a reason for developing leukedema. As compared to the patient living in rural area, the patient who lives in cities and polluted areas are more prone to the disease. After injury if the discoloration sustains this can be one of the reasons for developing leukedema. If the patient had consumed more antibiotics than in them the chances of developing vitiligo is also high. Apart from these external causes there are some internal causes that can spread this disease internally. From my years of experience I've noted that there are certain food combinations, if consumed together can develop toxins, like if you have curd, pickle, lemon, sour along with milk, can create toxicity inside the body. This toxic substances circulate inside the body and excels through skin and develops diseases like leukedema. Secondly don't ever have sour fruits and mass metals along with milk, because these are not triggers for developing the disease. 40 to 50 percent of the patients who had approached me with leukedema was having constipation and other gastric diseases. The toxins developed cannot come out of the body through motion instead it comes out through skin. Strain is the major killer which can slow down the recovery and can spread the disease in some patients. Indigestion can lead to lack of vitamin B12. Folic acid deficiency, copper deficiency because of all these white patches are developed. As small streams combines to form an ocean and comes out in the form of leukedoma, we cannot pinpoint on one reason that leukedoma had developed due to this reason. It is the combination of small reasons as lead to leukedoma. Our treatment will make everything alright, right from toxins, allergies everything will be neutralized. By this medicines will work even more faster. Toxins are taken out from patient's body through blood, motion and are finally neutralized so that the recovery will be faster. There can be many reasons for developing disease like leukedoma and vitiligo. The reasons which you have mentioned is scientifically proven or not? Ayurveda is a bone of fide science. Over these four years observations we have documented in Ayurveda which all herbs should be used for which all diseases is well explained in Ayurveda. It is mentioned that some herbs are good for heart diseases and proven scientifically. Rasnadi herbs are good for arthritis and joint pains and Arjuna is good for heart disease. It is mentioned in the book of Ayurveda and experienced from my clinical trials and it is true for my knowledge. Yes, the science which had written years back also mentions the same things that you told, so viewers as usual today also we have learned new lessons about leukedoma. Leukedoma can even break down the patient's mental stability. You all should know about leukedoma and should spread your awareness about it, so that all can seek treatment for diseases like leukedoma and please don't forget to watch tomorrow's episode. You have given an informative talk. Viewers will surely take care of those points which you have mentioned above so that they can be safe from leukedoma. Thank you doctor.